For a nation to function, infrastructure is vital. For Liberia and West Africa, the port of Monrovia is the most critical piece. Destroyed by war, the country's four million people depend on the rebuilt port to bring in nearly everything they need to live. When I see the ship coming in, and I take my truck, and they load me, going out into the company, packing my container, I feel good, very proud. Everything you see in Liberia basically comes through this berth. So if this berth had any issues whatsoever, the country could starve, literally. So the importance of it cannot be underestimated. I am a multi-scale operator operating my machines. Every machines in the port are operate out of these machines. So. The first step to rebuilding critical infrastructure is securing the commitment from partners to a long-term engagement. We bring in skills, we bring investments, especially in the early years. It is a business but we give so much value for that business. And we regard it as a win-win for the government and for APM terminals. To develop this place, develop the people, and this is not just a short-term partnership, this is a partnership that goes on for 25 years. A well-run port creates an efficient gateway for moving goods in and out. As a result, it is a catalyst for business and trade and a foundation for growth. Now, when you look at Liberia today, you see tremendous changes from, say, 10 years ago, which is when the peace agreement was signed. Uh, what you have now is 10 years of stability. The port, particularly the Monrovia port, is extremely important to uh, the Liberian uh, economy. The fact that the port is working efficiently uh, is in itself a, a sign uh, that uh, Liberia is on the right path, I think, for growth and it must be growth that generates jobs, and it must be jobs that pay wages that can address uh, the, the poverty situation in the country. One important outcome is trust. Trusting that goods will arrive and depart as expected gives business owners confidence to grow. For entrepreneur Abigail Ure, the new port gave her the confidence to start another business, the export of recycled waste oil. We've seen a significant improvement with regards to our business with the port since APMT came in three years ago. The processes have improved, the systems, the equipment, the infrastructure has made a, a, a significant improvement to our business line. I stand here and I see the trucks come get loaded, oil get pumped into it, and the trucks drive off. Such satisfaction from seeing that process. They're going to anywhere in the world. That's the beauty of it. Building a port is much more than an investment in the infrastructure. It is an investment in the people. We have to localize as much as possible. Uh, we already have 50% of our senior management is local. Our entire workforce besides that is local. Uh, within two years, we'll be up to 75% of senior management will be Liberians. We spend an enormous amount of money and time on training our workforce. Uh, what we plan to do is be here for 25 years, redevelop it, train the people, and then after 25 years, we give it back to the country. I pray that some of my friends could be like me one day. Yes, because a lot of friends out there don't have jail. My company have a very big name in Liberia. When you say I work with Terminal, whether you have money or not, everybody respect you. Wow, she work with Terminal. So I'm very proud. <laughs> 
my Jackie, gosh. Jackie, thank you, man. You're working hard, old girl. Thank How you. How was the job today, man? It was fine. It was hey, fine. Hey, baby. Yeah. You're a strong woman. I know, eh? I know, Jackie. I know. <laughs>